Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are standing here today at Grant and Wilton because this location raises important issues about how Winnipeg City Hall functions in relation to road safety. We have a city council which is broken, but with strong leadership, we can use institutions of civic government to craft a better policy, and we can do this in spite of a weak city council. Politics at its best is about using facts and ideas from great mid-sized cities from around the world to create a better Winnipeg. It is not about taking the easy path, about doing the easy things, but about thinking about the health and well-being of all citizens and their sense of justice in relation to road safety. The Winnipeg Police Board is the civilian body to which the Winnipeg Police Service is accountable and was established to oversee police services in the city of Winnipeg. The legislated mandate of the Winnipeg Police Board is to provide civilian governance respecting the enforcement of law, the maintenance of public peace and the prevention of crime in the city of Winnipeg and to provide administrative direction to the Winnipeg Police Service. The board is also a liaison between the community and the Winnipeg Police Service and annually the board is mandated to conduct public consultations in locations throughout the city to solicit community input on public safety issues and priorities. Part of the board's mandate is to ensure that the policies of the Winnipeg Police Service reflect the community's needs, values and expectations. As mayor of the city of Winnipeg, I will work with the police board to fulfill its mandate by one, conducting an extensive review of road safety, two, by setting a working equilibrium between revenue generating mechanisms, i.e. photo radar behind me, and policing duties. Three, setting the priorities given to prevention in the area of traffic enforcement. Four, understanding how the Public Works Department could work with the police service to ensure greater safety on the streets with proper signage. Five, consulting the public to indicate how the police service can reflect the community's needs, values and expectations as specified in their mandate, and six, providing leadership and direction to the Winnipeg Police Service and the City Council of Winnipeg on budgeting and road safety. I feel that this is an appropriate response to the issues of road safety on both sides of the debate. Politicians are not, politicians are not experts in the field of traffic engineering. It is time to remove City Council and Upper Administration from the decision-making process creating transparency and openness about how we manage road safety in our city. Let us allow an independent body like the Police Board to make the decisions as to the most suitable means forward. There are those who believe that road safety, road safety enforcement is simply a cash grab and the tickets are unjust, while others claim the tickets are justified. I would like to see presentations and research using fact-based decision-making making concerning road safety and photo radar from all parties and all sides. It is about good basic city planning. With the demanded increase by Manitoba Public Insurance for rates of 3.4%, all drivers are aware that ensuring insurance costs are reduced should be of primary importance in the way we manage road safety to reduce accidents and future insurance claims. It seems though that civic administration in Winnipeg, instead of embarking, instead of ensuring excellent transportation engineering, has been embarking on a system which is instead designed to increase potential revenues to the city and their partner private companies. While many citizens suspect that the city is really only concerned about revenue, as mayor, I intend to put safety before revenue in the way we manage our road system by conducting an investigation with an independent body. Road safety is produced by the three E's, engineering, education and enforcement. Yet in Winnipeg we are seeing the most deficient transportation engineering in the country. We have speed fines which are 250 times percent higher than the average of all other provinces and double the number of tickets issued. It is my belief that the roads and intersections should be engineered for safety and not for revenue generation. Our mayor and council have consistently ignored the Transportation Association of Canada's Manual of Uniform Traffic Control Devices for Canada, yet they claim they follow these guidelines on a continuous basis. Yet there is no actual oversight of how Winnipeg does this. Winnipeg is one of the only cities in the entire country 
that does not fully apply transportation engineering standards for proper sign, signage and speed limit li limits and speed reduction signing on roadways. We also have the lowest amber light times on major intersections in the entire country and in North America. This has created sit situations where those citizens may be driving at the appropriate speeds on our roads, they are unable to stop in the time given without incurring fines and penalties. Civic administration is too content to defend engineering standards that force citizens into inadvertently break the law, especially on winter icy roads. This is even more difficult when the roads have not been cleared in a timely manner and drivers are forced to make quick decisions about either being fined for burning a short red light or being rear-ended. And we have actually seen at photo radar sites an increase in the number of rear-end collisions. The City of Winnipeg has not been proactive in providing motorists good signage so they can adequately conform to the law. The City must fully implement the MUTCDC on all road systems to ensure that safety and prevention are the primary concerns. Any planning we do around traffic safety, any planning we do around traffic safety and engineering should be based on science and not myth and empty political rhetoric. I will ask the police service to conduct monthly meetings with the Public Works Department as they do in Halifax to ensure there is proper signage in areas of the city receiving higher levels of tickets. Currently in Winnipeg, there are 206 missing signs on our roadways. Community organizations like Wise Up Winnipeg have even provided a list to the city about missing signs in school zones. Yet only 20 have been replaced and only due to complaints by principals. Even program data within the city of Winnipeg is deficient. They have not been able to adequately demonstrate that safety has been improved with the arrival of photo radar because they have not been collecting data according to scientific standards. This reduces the level of public trust in government, our police and of our civic administration. Science must take precedence over ignorance and as mayor I will make certain that proper research will be conducted that demonstrates the pros and cons of photo radar. The city must work with MPI to find the best means to collect data that responds to the concerns of insurers, critics and citizens. The main ideas of my road safety policies are to use existing institutions like the Winnipeg Police Board to produce safer streets for Winnipeg. By independently investigating the actual system we have, collecting proper data, reviewing different traffic systems from across North America, ensuring that meetings occur between the police and the public works department for signage, and city traffic engineering actually follows in all ways to a T the Manual of Uniform Traffic Control Devices for Canada. Tapwe, miigwech, thank you, merci beaucoup, et salamat. Hey, hey.